Okay, Ford EcoSport cabin filter. This is a 2016 model uh, and this one is a right hand drive. The cabin filter is in the footwell on the right hand side towards the centre console here. I imagine it's probably in the same place on a left hand drive. It's probably still on that right hand side of the car but you can see it over the cover here. So what we'll do is we'll um, do this in reverse order from putting the cabin filter in uh, so you can see everything that needs to come off uh, to get at this. Um, there's a bit more to it than a lot of them. Uh, so that's our cover there. There's five Torx head screws in that one. Um, and then the side panel uh, needs to come off. Not quite as simple as it looks. Um, there is one main bolt right in the side of it um, that you'll see quite clearly uh, but there is another bolt actually hidden up under the other top covers which we will show you. So up in here right, there's another 7mm bolt here Okay, and this is buried under the surround for the transmission shift lever. Okay, so this is the surround. So you can pull it off um, with the center panel in. We'll show it to you shortly with the center panel out. It's easier to put it back in with the center panel out, uh, but that would be quite hard to get out in place, I think. So. If you pull it out as a complete um, unit with that in, and then you can take it out before you put it back into the vehicle. Okay, so uh, this unit sort of unclips towards the rear of the vehicle from the four corners there. So pull it, pulling it backwards slightly. Um, and this is what it looks like with that centre panel out. Um, going back in there. So much easier to fit in, need your shift lever in neutral uh, just to keep it out of the way and you can see that overlaps the other cover there as well. And then our centre panel goes in, um, so obviously that needs to come out uh, when you are going the other way, I'm trying to get at this thing. And then just the surround uh, that goes around the transmission lever. So that's just clipped in as well and then that just leaves us the little rubber mat uh, that goes at the front of this section which kind of has little rubbery clippy things on it and pulls out quite easily um, just got to get those lined up to go back in there Cool, so uh, that's what it looks like, the area that we need to tackle to get at that screw. Okay, I hope this has helped you out today. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more real tips from Real Mechanics.